Hello, and welcome to our series where we invite industry professionals to answer what is GFRP Levers, its recommendations, precautions while buying it, and more. Lately, there has been a lot of buzz around GFRP Levers in Indian construction industry. Today, we have with us Professor Adradeep Laskar of Indian Institute of Technology. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your expertise in glass fiber reinforcement polymers rebars. Okay, so I am Argadi Plashkar. I am an associate professor in the Department of Civil Engineering at IIT Bombay. I have been working at IIT Bombay for almost 10 years now. And before that, I was actually uh, working uh, in Houston, USA for an offshore engineering company. And at IIT Bombay, uh, I am mostly involved with teaching and research. And my research area is primarily related to concrete structures. Uh, we do a lot of large scale testing and finite element simulation of concrete structures. Uh, recently, for the past six, seven years, I have been focusing a lot on the area of uh, fiber reinforced, FRP reinforced uh, concrete structures. So a lot of my research work at present is focused on uh, studying the behavior of FRP reinforced uh, concrete structures and uh, various other aspects related to it. What are the key advantages of uh, FRP rebars compared to steel rebars in Indian construction context? Yeah, there are uh, very uh, important advantages that we get out of uh, FRP rebars when we compare it with to the conventional steel rebars. And the major one is the conversion problem that is very much prevalent in the Indian construction industry. So as you know that steel rebars are always subjected to corrosion and that actually affects the life uh, the life cycle of the concrete structures. So by replacing these uh, steel rebars with FRP rebars, which have similar strength as compared to, or even higher strength in some cases, as compared to the steel rebars, we can uh, address this corrosion problem, which is faced by the Indian industry to a great extent. There are other associated advantages, such as the FRP rebars are a lot lighter than in weight. So I'm thinking that will be a big positive when it comes to construction activities. A lot less labor would be required to carry these bars. So those are some of the major advantages of FRP rebars that I can think of in, in terms of the, or related to the industry in India. Okay, so handling becomes easy with this bar. Yes, correct. Okay. In continuation, what are the challenges or obstacles you have uh, observed with widespread uh, adoption of GFRP rebars? in today's market. Okay, so see, the it's a very new product in the Indian industry. And what we have realized from our experience till now is that uh, you can play with the properties a lot in terms of manufacturing. Or okay. to give you an example, uh, what happens is uh, we give you some standard properties that we need, and that can be achieved in various possible ways by altering the contents. So that what happens due to that is when we test the material initially, when we test the bar, we might be getting all the properties. But what we have observed is if we are not careful, then some of these bars which initially meet the required properties or standards will deteriorate with time. So the production can be, uh, what I feel is the production can be manipulated. In other words, if I may say that, such that we can initially get the desired product, but that longevity of that product is questionable. So that is where we have to be very careful. And once we have come up with the BIS standards, one of them is already out. So what we are trying to do is make sure that the long-term properties are also taken care of and they are actually maintained throughout the life cycle of the structures. So that is one of the major challenges which I have felt. And there are other minor challenges such as handling and storage, like we cannot, we have to be very careful about the handling and storage. We cannot just leave them on site like we can do for the steel rebars. So those things are there, but they can be addressed. But what I feel is the longevity of these bars has to be ensured and proper testing facilities should be developed so that the bars are properly checked before they are actually put into practice. Me as an end customer, how can I ensure that I get a long durable rebar on my site? What are the tests? Can you highlight those? Yeah, uh, on the top of my head, the ones I can recall now are the alkaline resistance is one of them. Then okay. the fiber content is another test, as well as uh, uh, I think there are a lot of tests that we have recommended in the BIA standards that is going to come up. So yeah. if you go through those, I think all of them are, most of them are very important tests in terms of the longevity. So those okay. have to be quickly followed. 
so that the long term performance of these bars are not questionable. We don't have enough database or the test properties of bars that are available in India. So that is why we have recommended to set up some testing facilities so that these bars can be tested and we have a huge database of the bars that are manufactured. So that is also important, I think. So we should actually strive to achieve the BIO standards coming in. Yes. So uh, from what I understand, we should be focused on two things. One is setting up better testing facilities for GFRP rebars in India. And two, we need to follow BIS code, BIS approved vendors to ensure the quality of the product. Yes, sir? Correct, correct. Yes. Okay. Uh, sir, additionally, as uh, I'd like to ask you whether uh, in terms of research and development, what are the advancements being made in India to further the quality and performance of GFRP rebars? Uh, we are working on a lot of uh, topics. Uh, so currently in my research group, uh, we have actually recently worked on uh, applying these uh, FRP bars for pre-stressing applications also. So that yeah. is the one area that we have explored. Then currently we are actually also looking at uh, structural health monitoring aspects of FRP reinforced. So since these bars are very uh, non-ductile, so they have to be monitored very closely. So we are trying to develop uh, health monitoring techniques for these FRP reinforced concrete structures. So those are the two major areas that we have worked on. In other institutes like IIT Hyderabad, they are also trying to work on various other aspects. And I think Professor Surya, if you talk with him, he'll be able to give you a better picture. So they are also working a lot on these FRP reinforced structures along with us. Okay. So we spoke to uh, Motwani, sir, with whom you have the patent for pre-stressing. So we'd like to know more about your second point where you talked about uh, rebars health monitoring. So basically, uh, if you know, steel is a ductile material, whereas yeah. FRP, you know, is a not a non-ductile. Basically, if you look at the stress strain curve of FRP bars, it's a straight line up to the point of failure. Yeah. Now, the disadvantage for this is that if you have an FRP reinforced concrete structure, unlike a conventional steel reinforced concrete structure, it will not give you a lot of warning in the terms of large deflection because FRP is not a ductile material. So that is the reason why we need to monitor it even more closely. So what we are doing is we are coming up with health monitoring techniques where we send guided waves and other types of signals to okay. determine the health and make sure that the structure is uh, adequate to carry the loads throughout its service. So that basically needs to be done from various at various points of time or even if possible, a continuous monitoring scheme can also be developed so that when we have put the structure into use, they are constantly monitored because unlike the steel reinforced concrete structures, this will not give you large deformation before it fails because yeah. it's a linear material. Okay, so that is a that is interesting topic you're working on. But thank you mm -hmm. so much for sharing your research work and um, your experience today. My pleasure.